It's time for local news. Local news. Yeah. Slap out Oklahoma player Socrates Bogus has got kicked out of our league. <laughs> Socrates Bogus. Voluntarily, yeah. I heard. Yeah. So yeah. the moral of this story is don't be a <laughs> dick out there, you know. Come, be nice, be polite, and, you know, if you're in a league, you got to pay your dues. So don't yeah. try to pay it. Well, I think. Have a heart. With nothing. Yeah. Have a heart, like, man. The best way to, that I can think to put this is is be courteous. Courteous, to, yes. Be courteous to your the people that are taking the time out of their day to run yes, a that, league or a PDGA sanction or really anything disc golf related. Exactly. Be, be courteous. We could Show all be up. doing other things. You know, don't be a jerk out there. Yeah. No. Like, yeah, he's like, I showed up, but I wanted somebody to pay for me. Well, I'm sure no, and, like nobody, ha- nobody and, like, yeah, show up on time. Yeah, show, show up on time. Yeah. And, and come to the right one course thing. too. Yeah. Other people has done that. I <laughs> think I at least have something to pay with. Hashtag well, I got a full with, with some cash. Well, with some <laughs> cash to pay with. I'm sure some like a few of us probably would have pitched in a few, but we I mean Yeah. Money's short. Yeah. Not everybody can can afford to pay for somebody else, especially if they're not going to finish very well. Yeah. Or, yeah. you know, hashtag, I got a three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's always the... It's always that. Yeah. And you're like, no, you, you got a five, my, buddy. Here's my pencil and let me... <laughs> you know, yeah, that was a five. <laughs> no, I, I do that, but you guys keep me honest because I'm brand new. I can't well, count. It, so. it, is, it is easy to... You, you get caught up in it happens. in the moment, and you you're like, yeah. oh no, I, I yeah, you're right. But I from what I was told, this guy, all the time. Oh, yeah, all the time. This guy that, does it. That's all the time. when he gets suspicious. Gets pretty sus. I've only played with him one time, and he was super creepy to another player that's opposite sex. And I was like, this is too weird. As matter of fact, he wasn't even on a card. He was wishing that I wish I was on your card. And you're like, good oh, lord, just get calling, away just from calling it out. Yeah, get I saw away some, from here. Somebody called him out on Facebook, and he got like. Over 200 comments, and Good. they were all saying the same thing. Mm. Well, Multiple. You can't. That's too much. Eventually, uh, done. Yeah, until yeah. you're I, done. On, I mean, I hope the best. I don't wish wish ill on anybody. Oh, I don't either. But you just, can, there's just that, that's, at some point you kind of got to just sit back and reflect, and just think, man, maybe it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I do that all the time. <laughs> me, I do. <laughs> me. Yeah, that that's my whole day at work. It's me. Why's everyone yelling at me? <laughs> but it is, really is me, though. So, all right. Any other local news? We had some other local news. Um, um uh, you guys recently played uh, Noc Golds. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. I, unfortunately, I missed. I'm I a, missed that one too. I played I, the other time though. I love I'm, it. I'm, out a, there. I'm a I'm a fair weather disc golfer. If it's wet and cold, I kind of hide. But yeah, you guys, you guys went out and you toughed it. Uh, it was did. kind of a. I didn't play that though. Well, I, I, I guess it was a kind of a, an altered layout. It wasn't necessarily the full layout. Uh, it's kind of hard to get out it there was, and, and do what great, you want to do. But deal. I love throwing over that lake at the hole eighteen. Hole eighteen, yeah. I, I crushed that it, and had I set that basket on that sewer pipe. <laughs> <laughs> did you, I did might you, have aced it. Oh yeah, wow, really? I went flying right down the middle of those monuments. Oh, the, mon- the 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 the, mon- the, uh, uh-huh. the signature right down the middle. Uh, Noc mm-hmm. gold, the pillar pillar <laughs> shot. How far is that hole? You think it's a little? It's over four hundred. Four twenty five. Yeah. Yeah, wow, that's about my max distance. I want to say. Yeah. If I've thrown further than that, it's just because of the wind. It probably got a good roll. I, I had to play I from mean, the I, drop I, I zone. I feel like I've thrown a putter that far before. That's you. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm, I'd say 420 is probably my max if I'm really trying to crank uh, on a calm day. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm, Without I, rolling I'm, the disc all air. Yeah. I'm definitely not a crusher by any means, but I've, I've gotten a hold of a few in my day. Like 350 and three. I mean, uh, I mean Chad. Chad saw me get a hold of a basilisk not too long ago. An un- unintentional roller, but it rolled forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I throw a roller down, I bet I've thrown thrown those further than four twenty. But yeah, I don't really go. For, that's fifty no. fifty. Uh, I'll see how the pros if, could throw that down and know that it's perfectly going to go somewhere. If, if you thing. if you see me trying to throw a roller, you might think that I'm trying to do a cartwheel. I do not know how to throw a roller on, on purpose. Wow. Yeah. Oh, no, wow. That's not something that's in my bag. I cheat. I just use a tilt and just throw it. Well, no, I, I take I take it back. I got the left-handed putter roller I'm pretty saucy with. 
for trying to get far too. It doesn't take much to knock you off balance on the you know a little tiny pebble, a rock, a yeah. stick, a acorn, <laughs> a squirrel. Yeah. No, I, uh, squirrel. <laughs> a really funny story. Uh, we were playing a, a a casual round in Joplin uh, at McClellan Park, the early McClellan Park before they did a redesign. That the redesign is now is is awesome, by the way. But uh, early early hole seventeen. Uh, I had uh, Will Schustrick and Kevin Bates watching me throw, and this is this is one of the the longer holes on the course. If if you get a birdie on it, it's a definite bonus birdie. And for whatever reason, my shoulder decided to dislocate, and I threw the disc behind me. Oh my gosh! In sweet. front of a group of touring pros. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, no. It literally landed behind the tee box. Did it sound like this <laughs> afterwards? No. Oh no! I wish it sounded like that. It would have been better for my pride. <laughs> oh, I think it sounded more like this. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> times no times ten. Times ten. <laughs> I think oh, your no. brother's probably the only pro oh. I've played with so far. Yeah. Okay. We're talking. Yeah. Pros. And, he, and you can call him a pro. If he's out there listening. There it is. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> but you got to let it finish all the way. Yeah. yeah, I remember the first time you guys came. Were, were you playing the first? I don't know if. I think it was just Kyle who came and played the first sanctioned league. No, I think, I think, I think Kyle and I came to the first one at the same time. So at you were there when we had yeah, the playoff and we I had like guys a six, seven hole playoff. Yeah, he 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 went against. Uh, uh, no, he, his first one he was actually up against Morley. Oh yeah, so it was yeah, the playoff second against one. Morley because I didn't make the first one when he showed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think his first one he played. He had a playoff against Morley and he beat him with a a gnarly yeah, Morley on, Morley on just, hole one. Morley could not pull it off. <laughs> 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 this is all we heard. Don't run. <laughs> That one. <laughs> this is all of them. All of just a, just a or this one. That's all right. I like that one. That's a good one. Former yeah, drum. Sweet. Awesome. Mm. Yeah, it was nice having him. But it was no, too bad he uh, moved away. It's like, oh. uh, favorite courses. Uh, Meadow Lake here in Enid is definitely up there. It's a very fun course. So all the courses you would rate in, uh, Meadow Lake in, here in Enid pretty good. I would I would say top five. Yeah, if any top five. Wow. Well, it, yeah. it, shout out it, to the creator over there. Yeah, yeah. Who yeah, made full, the course? The, the one and only Bad Chad. Wow. Yeah. He's not. And, uh, he's with not a, here with today, a little bit of help of uh, with uh, Ron Converse too, I believe Ron Converse Junior. Wow. Uh, Masters World who, Champion. Who just signed up for the Woods Toss today. Ooh. Ooh. I was wondering if he was going to do it. There's like 35 MPO players, and I was yeah. like, is he going to play? He's from Blackwell. Is he going to play? Yeah, he, well, Bodark That's is his course. a lot of money added cash. Him, him, and, him and Harvey, uh, RIP Harvey. MPO added cash plus with 35 players. That's got to be up in the couple yeah. thousand dollar range for first place. But, yeah, yeah, uh, I would say Meadow Lake is probably top five. Very cool, uh, though. That's, no, well, that's awesome. And, and you have your key kind of your – your course classifications. I would say Meadow Lake is a very park style course mm -hmm. uh, where you have uh, tight out of bounds. Tight out of bounds. You have manufactured out of bounds with a lot of walking paths. They give you the one par four with a long fairway. And then you do have hole 10 with a really long fairway, but you also have the uh, the creek that run that will get good you luck. out of bounds. Yeah. So good luck there. <laughs> I haven't done it in a while. I've so. got a few down. Yeah, I would say I would say in in park style courses, uh, Meadow Lake is definitely up there. Better than all the other park courses I've played for my first year and a half or more playing. So no, I would say Meadow Lake is a very good uh, course for people to learn and refine their skills on. That's what I learned. Yeah. Then I then I found out about the college over there. I'm like, what? Yeah. And that's all I go. That's cool. I like and that then, too. Uh, Another another course that uh, really helped me refine my skills is uh, again is uh, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, Iowan Park in uh, in Fargo, North Dakota. No. that's a course that is very technical, but it also requires you to have a very long arm. So those two things don't really coexist together. You can either throw it really really far, or you can throw it really really technical. Mm -hmm. And that course required both. Wow. Most of the time. Wow. Yeah. And I played that course probably more in the snow. Really? Than I did, yeah. Oh, wow. Well, uh, it, it's right It's right on the river, so, and, and Fargo. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, it, it gets cold, but uh, 
Fargo, the Red River floods in Fargo practically every year. Mm. And all of the courses in Fargo are right on the river. So for the first three months of the year, four months of the year, that course has either got four feet of snow on it or it's got four feet of water on it. Wow. Yeah, it, it floods really bad in Fargo. There's, like, complete cities almost get underwater uh, the further up the, the Red River it goes. That's crazy. But, yeah, uh, so we in Fargo, they are what you would call winter warriors. They absolutely love playing in the snow. Mm, I and like playing out here in the snow. Well, try try playing in four foot, five foot, ten foot snow drifts. So no down. no white disc out there. Though. No, I'll bring my bag. No, and, and some people they try they tried the the ribbon the ribbon golf where they tape a ribbon to it so that you works. can see it when it buries. It works, but it definitely uh, it it lessens the the distance that you can yeah. throw the trajectory of That's the what disc. I was thinking, yeah. And they're they're all super competitive up there. Mm. Nobody's throwing with ribbons in Fargo. Well, yeah, okay. I see what money. Saying. No. But you, if you're good, you know where your disc is going is what they say. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. And a lot of them are very good. Hmm. There's a lot of talent in Fargo. Very cool. I just manifested. I know my disc is going to go there. Yeah. And no, that's uh, where it goes. They have, uh, I think it's whole, f- whole 14. No, 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 no. Whole, whole 13. Is a gnarly one. It's about five, maybe five, six hundred feet, and you're throwing right next to the river. Mm-hmm. Par, par four. It's a par four. Yeah. Wow. A, lo- a lot. Uh, most of these holes. I, w- I would. I would say. I wouldn't say most, but a good majority of these holes on on I one are going to be par fours, and they're going to you're going to be throwing right next to the river. Yeah, I wouldn't even say three fifty. I would say if most. People could throw 300 on a dime perfectly, consistently, comfortably, and par most courses. They're yeah. shooting 900 or more. Yeah, They're yeah. Uh, if, you can shoot, if you can shoot par, if you can shoot par on, so. on most of your courses, you're going to be an, a 900-plus rated player. You got to shoot under. You got to shoot under the if you're going to do anything out there because those locals, man, they they know what's up. That's cool. But, yeah, cool. there's there's tons of, of hard hard holes out there, long holes. There's your short gimme ones that you have to get if you're going to score well. I love messing with the locals when I go play against some tournaments. Up like oh, yeah. It's, it's, o- it's, it's always fun to show I'm up. Here, and I'm here to piss on this course today. <laughs> 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 then I get, I get top three, and I'm like, oh, sorry you didn't make it to the lead card. Right. Glad to see you next yeah. year. <laughs> no, I, no, I piss them off. I, I used to travel for disc golf, and uh, nowadays I kind of just try and stay local. Why, why, why don't you ever go pro? Why didn't I ever go pro? Mm-hmm. I honestly, I didn't, I didn't catch the bug quite like Kyle did. Uh, whenever he started getting really, really good, he uh, he's good. Man, he he took off with it. Yeah, he's good, but you're good too. Eh, man, I'm I'm good sometimes. You're player X. I mean, I'm player cool. player X is phenomenal. <laughs> have you, have you a, ever beat a, him? It's an no, no, no. You, you never, never beat Kyle at around. Oh no, I've I beat Kyle. Kyle. Player, oh. player X, absolutely not. Oh, okay. okay. I got it's, got it's like it's like a yeah. Peter Parker Spider Man type situation. There, you never see him in the same spot like at the same you. time. Yeah. But no, I, I I beat Kyle a handful of times. Yeah, I've I've been I've been lucky enough to to put together a couple really good rounds. If if you knew me in my early days of disc golf, I was the the go to on shooting 100 points difference a tournament between rounds rating wise mm. wow whether that be a 860 and, and a, a 960, 960 or a 960 and 860 i mean it for some reason i just couldn't put it together but this was this was in my very early days i was still very very raw in competitive play i always get the jitters not as much as more but in the beginning first year like first hole right off the tee pad Yoink. Yeah, yeah, always a yoink. Yoink. But no, like I, I played. I think, uh, I think, twenty twenty three is going to be my seventeenth year. Wow, you've of, been playing a long time. Of being, uh, uh just being a, a member of uh, PDGA. Wow, Tw- seventeen years. Yeah, this year. And you're still playing MA three. No, no, no. I, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, I started donating to the pro card long ago. It's like my first yeah. year playing. God dang, this dude's got a 22,000 PDJ number. I'm getting whooped. He's neg three. And yeah. It's my first month playing maybe, tournament. No, maybe, maybe I should have stepped down. I should have stepped down when I came to Enid, just claimed a... Uh, 
just claimed insanity or something. And <laughs> so, Mikey, when did it all click for you? Day one. Day right one. The room. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so, and uh, off camera said bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's seen it happen. Then. No, uh, I've got it on record. I Look up I Eni Disc Golf Club Facebook. Yeah. No, I can't remember whenever I, I decided that I was going to start just playing pro and and just really seeing how I matched up with with that type of competition. Mm-hmm. And I and I've had I've had luck. I've, I've finished pretty high, but I I've not, I haven't won a pro tournament. No, mm. I've actually if you look at my PDGA history, I've only won two tournaments. Yeah. Wow, wow, mm-hmm. I'll have to look you up. Yeah, they were in uh, I think uh, MA one or rec or something like that, and mm. interme- intermediate. Hmm. I'm hunting for the uh, A tier win. I've A-tier got the C tiers. I've got, got the C- B tiers. CB, gotta get the A. I've got the XCs, the Ls, yeah, the, 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 M- the, the match plays. <laughs> got those. But the A tier. So that's why I signed up for GBO this year. Yeah, for you. Ledgestone. Ooh, I'll be GBO. driving. I'm, I'll be I'm driving glad. Illinois. I'm glad they're bringing back the name GBO. GBO was uh, back when I was. It, doing the the traveling disc golf thing, GBO was the highlight of my of every year for me. I went to GBO five years in a row uh, when I was living in Joplin, which was it was only a three hour trip uh, yeah. to get to Emporia. It sounds but better. Glass blown open. Glass blown. It does sound better. Last year's I went there. It was uh, it dynamic all, disc. Open. So so much fun. So many good memories uh, of being at a uh, at GBO. Uh, what, what, one off the top of my head just kind of just popped in. Uh, one year, uh, a group of us homies from Joplin, uh, we had a bet because uh, uh, this was back when they would make you play uh, two rounds in a day. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So uh, we had a we had a bet on one day. Um, the worst score, the worst two scores uh, from the first day of the tournament would have to drink a, uh, what was it, a pineapple? Jalapeno meat. Uh, wow. I was, I, was, I, I was one of those guys. Yeah. Oh, was it pretty no. windy when you went up there and played? It's always windy up there. Is that even a question? <laughs> it was pretty windy. Is, yeah. is that ever a question? It's always windy in Kansas, especially in Emporia, Kansas. I know Jer- Jeremy Rusko is some type of wizard. He does a... I threw a lot of stilettos. Some type of wind dance, and it's always windy. It was, it was fun. Emporia disc Watching golf is probably else. the hardest <laughs> because of the wind. Fly everywhere. Yeah. Always take your your stable discs, and always bring extras when you go to Emporia, because they're going in the water. I, mm. I can't remember how many was in my division in MA three my first year at DD. I think it was ninety seven. I could be wrong, but and it was there was some high high numbers. A lot of DNFs, people quitting. Wow, I ended up in fifth place. Good for you. Well, good for you. Luckily, yeah. <laughs> throwing, getting used to the wind out here and throwing out here is. Good practice. Yeah, we had a wind. It's windy out here. Last year it was all wind at was, first. And that's pretty that's windy. Like this mm-hmm. last summer, you know. they would ask me, "What do you throw in there?" And I'd say stiletto. stiletto. And they'd say beefcake. Justice. Because the Europeans, you know, didn't speak much, much English, so they'd just say beefcake. <laughs> what'd you What'd you throw on that one? Oh, that was my justice. <laughs> what'd you throw on that one? Oh, that was my other justice. <laughs> <laughs> but I got to meet uh, meet a uh, silver latte. Oh. Silver lat. Silver Light, yeah. That's cool. cool. And he, he uh, got Christian Tatar to sign my disc. Ooh. My DDO Yeah, disc. yeah, you told me about that. There was a huge line for, <laughs> for Kristen, and there was like and I a, ha- a handful of, of people for There was for nobody. Silver. Nobody. And he was like, he was like, hey, let, yeah, let me take this over here for you. Unfortunately. Yeah. And I walked up to talk to Silver. Yeah, no, we want to talk to him, but. And I didn't yeah. even know who he was. I said, hey, are you, are you a pro? Oh! <laughs> I started talking to him. It's my first year. <laughs> Introduced myself and then told him I played with some of his Estonian buddies. Yeah, yeah. So that was Dude, cool. No, that's funny. In, Emporia is is such a, a such a disc golf mecca. You can just just if you just get a chance to just go and just be in Emporia for one of their majors or GBO or anything that like that. Cool. Just go and hang out. That player party, their bonfire they do, so cool. Yeah, I've definitely so, rewrote so cool. my bucket list since of lear- learning of disc golf. Mm-hmm. Well, and, so and that's uh, one that Estonian Open. I'd love to go yeah. to that. That'd be cool. Yeah, but uh, the Emporia community they they've embraced disc golf. They absolutely love whenever the disc golfers show up. 
Yeah, I wish. So, so much, so much extra revenue. Well, yeah, for that town. I wish they're smart like that. Honestly, oh, I know. And don't we have the, don't we have more people here? The more population, yeah. Than, than, than uh, I, I thought, yeah, yeah, I thought I Enid was bigger. I than believe Emporia. we have Enid, I think Enid is bigger than Emporia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Than Emporia, and yet disc golf is like. Man, it's 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 weird. You go to but they, but they got metal like they just did that. Well, yeah, it, Enid has come a long started. way from from what I've heard. But well, we a lot of a lot of a lot of people can get past that. Disc golf is still what a lot of people consider a hippie sport. Yeah, really I, I've heard that already at work. But we're we've come a long way uh, with it being publicized on YouTube, Facebook. A lot of new players out lately. I've seen that. Yeah, out ton, there. tons of a new lot. people. Tons. Old, old women, old men. I'm like, dang. Look. I was. Uh, That's crazy. I was a really big part of uh, the Joplin Disc Golf Club before I moved to Fargo, and uh, since I've been back in Oklahoma, I've stopped in a handful of times. I don't recognize half of those people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's so many awesome new people. To see it's it's, it's amazing. People out there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out! Shout out to Disc Golf. Thanks for everybody that decided to ch- give it a try keep, keep and, and liked it. it. Yeah. Yep. Tell your kids, and their kids, and tell those some people to come shop at Flat Farms to get all your round discs. Yeah. And so, some of the best uh, friendships I've had in my life have been through Disc Golf. So. That's good. Yeah. I love getting out and playing Disc Golf. It's. It's good exercise. Pro- probably the the nicest group of people that I've met in my life. There's one thing I can go back and change i guess what is it finding out about disc golf when i was younger yeah about it earlier yes well i first time i ever heard about disc golf was when with those those crappy junk baskets at uh crossland park and man there was no way to determine where the tee pad was or not i went out there with a (laughs) couple friends we just threw an old whammo into a into the thing i'm like oh this is a sport yeah yeah is that here in Enid? Yeah. Crossland. Yeah. Crossland. Yeah, it's oh. way up north. I wish they'd okay. put one back up there, too. But I don't know about The that. gold layout. Yeah, but there was so, much so many uh, stickers out there, man. It, uh, you're, it was not fun. We're in Oklahoma. There's stickers everywhere. I mean, this was worse than, you know, we think the college is bad, but this was worse. There's oh, probably three or four softball fields yeah. at Crossland. Yes. That really. you got to work around and a lot of fences. And mm-hmm. Okay. They need to put those but back. then it opens There's, up around a lake. So, uh, the lake is almost dried up, so they could they could definitely put some baskets around there. Well, I mean, if, water, if, water, if water pulled there once before, it, it'll pull there again. Well, it's it's been island. a while, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's not deep. You can make a little island in the middle. It of used to be a huge lake out there. And groundhogs, prairie dogs, prairie dogs. everywhere. They killed them all. That's a whole different story. Oh, yeah. I, don't I was, talk I was about gonna it. say they they're considered a nuisance. So, yeah, yeah they, they I don't want to talk about that story. It's a roll, rolled ankle waiting uh, to happen. So that's the first time I ever heard play disc golf. Okay, so it was fun. And then that store we used to have Hastings sold them. Remember that Hastings used to sell them. But we didn't have no course know about though. Disc golf. Then when I used to go in there, I was just getting movies with my wife. Yeah, so. oh, Hastings. I remember Hastings. Yeah, the good old days. But we didn't have a course because they got rid of all those baskets. But they had all these discs. And of a disc in, in like a oh, in cap display. I'm like, wow, why are they all in different weights and stuff like that? <laughs> What's this mean? Yeah, they had just had Metal Lake like for a few months when I found out about disc golf, and I didn't even know they put the baskets out there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Me and Chad talked about on the show this. There was nothing marked at the time, and when me and my son went out there, I mean, we almost got nailed so many times because. <laughs> People were just throwing. Yeah, okay. And they didn't know which way to throw, and wow. you're like, holy crud. I remember a guy throwing from the parking lot to probably where the practice basket is, and um, he was it was weird. I'm like, why are you throwing from way over there? I, I think this is a good time to kind of give a shout-out to UDISC. Uh, yes. To be one of the, the first people to try and uh, educate yeah, that's people cool. about uh, courses in other regions and just – it, because I've been there. I've, I've walked to a new course, and I've been so frustrated by the third hole because I can't find anything. Well, that's how I learned the college layout is UDISC. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's nice having UDISC. I yeah, paid UD, for it. UDISC is great. For the cost, it's worth every penny. Well, I, I believe, it not it included in a PDGA membership now? Or was it was that a thing oh, that was a couple years ago? I think it's 50% ago? off. Not, not anymore? No. Okay. It's 50% off DGN Network. Oh, Dish Golf Network. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, definitely shout out to UDISC. That's very cool. 
Yeah, you disc is great. One thing I'd like to do here at Metal Lake, they do it in the city. It's called Molly Mondays out there, but the Molly Mondays, yeah, I've, I've, I've seen that backwards basically, and you start off like on 18s pad, and you're throwing to 17s basket, Wait. so you're doing a lot of ace runs. Who does that? Kind of safari style, yeah. Who does that? You guys do that? Uh, they uh, do it in the city. I, I oh, think it's a uh, Sunny Stansbury. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, they're uh, uh, of Oklahoma City Disc Golf Club Our trilogy talk. That'd be yeah, cool. Our group did that. that yeah, they, cool. they, they. Yeah, I've seen that stuff. So uh, that's that's also something that we did uh, in Joplin. Uh, we played McClellan so often that it just got mundane. Mm-hmm. So we did. Uh, we would do double forwards, double backwards. So there, there would be Safari some long style. ones. There would be some long ones, but oh, a lot of ace runs. There would be so, so many crushers. Like it. Mm-hmm. It was like, a lot of fun. We like we we really. We really got wild with it, and honestly, uh, the a lot of the new layout for McClellan and Joplin has been sp- put in place because of some of those oh, yeah? those holes that we would play. Well, yeah, that's like, cool. and the, honestly, the, I encourage people to go out to their their courses, uh, those that have been in the ground for many years and are probably looking for a chance to be mix updated up. and mix it up. Mm-hmm. Go out and find out. Uh, how some of the, how how your course can be played because it it could be played better. Doesn't it really have could. to be the same thing. You can it does not have to be the up. same thing. Just be just be mindful of traffic. Yeah, the pub. I mean, it's it. A lot of these courses are on public land, so you have to worry about the the pedestrians. So always be mindful. Be courteous. No trespassing. No trespassing. Yeah, definitely <laughs> no trespassing. People don't want you in the yard. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Don't 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 go over the the hedges on hole eight. Yeah, and Meadow Lake. Don't, no. don't don't do that. Le- leave the old lady alone. Come on, guys. Have yeah, a heart. Be, yeah, be nice to her. If she's yelling because she doesn't want you. She she too. I'm not gonna be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Double. On my I'll, I'll give her ten bucks for your disc, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How fast can you sprint to there? Betcha she sells it to me. Wait, she said $10, that. $10, son? Okay. Has she done that, really? Not yet. Uh, I, I, I haven't even talked to her. I haven't had Not any yet. encounters with her, but I no, I, leave her I typically don't end up OB on 8. I go OB the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> the other way, yeah. All right. Yeah, I go OB the other way, yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah, there is a, there is the path on, on the right. Yeah. Or the left, I guess left. the left, the left, yeah. Yeah, I, I, try, I got my straightest disc... I can do it during uh, lunch when I play out there, and it's still there there in Sundays. League goes still out of bounds. Like, here's, a, here's a fun fact. I was curious. Do you have to? Do you have to claim since it is tax season? Everyone get your taxes done. Do I have to claim my ace cash money on my taxes? I've got like nine hundred and three dollars last year. Wow. Three different aces. Oh, I, don't I, don't know, I don't know. You might. You made it Daddy? public just now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's right. Over, anything over no, six, no. Uh, is that uh, like ninety dollars to the yeah, IRS? No, it's, it was it was gifted to you. Okay, yeah, it was gifted. It went all back to disc golf. It was, I gi- it was gifted. Guys. It was gifted. I've by got the, the receipts. It went all back to Flight Farm. <laughs> yeah, don- yeah don- <laughs> donations. See this? All back to Flight Farm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Merchandise swag. That's a nice jacket. I didn't yeah. see that. When, when did that become a thing? He's got them right here on the Ooh, right here on the okay. rack. Check them right. out. There's probably we, one that we fits might have to there. do a fashion show. They're nice. I mean, I got too much of this to have. Oh, wife, yeah, my wife to get a jacket it. though. I, I like that jacket. It from me. Oh yeah, does that, yeah. Have a, does that have a hood too? No, no. She tried to take it from me. Though. No, I have, I have a a jacket similar to that. Uh, I got it actually at a GBO one year, uh, going going down there to and spending too much money. But I I spent. Probably eighty bucks on a, a jacket that looks exactly like that, but it had a hood. A hood, right? And then, yeah, and then the, of course the the DD simple. Ooh, it's and yeah, it was it was a size too here. small, but I had to have it. Oh, I was yeah. I've done that before. But <laughs> clothes that's when I was younger. Oh, I gotta have it. it don't fit me, but I gotta, yeah, have, gotta it. have it. Yeah, I made I made it work. You just had to just hunch the holders the shoulders. <laughs> <a little bit. laughs> Why does Tyler have bad posture? <laughs> Danny DeVito. <laughs> yes, Danny DeVito. Danny. Very cool. Danny. Anything else? Do we need a shout outs to anybody before we end the show? Shout out to my wife, my dad. And um, uh, again, shout out to my wife, Christy. Uh, shout out to uh, Chad and Flight Farm and uh, Kelly yeah. for yeah. Uh, 
sponsoring me this year. Yeah, thank you, Chad and Kelly. Yeah, thank you. For Wish they were Chad here Kelly. today. Where's yeah. Chad at? That's weird. The shop Definitely was not. open, and we just walked in and they did they sat down and did the show. That's, that's why. The, that's why the baskets here. We kind of just jimmied the door. Oh, yeah. I guess that's what. That's what you guys did before you got here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I look forward to all the cool stuff they have for us this year. That's awesome. So. I can't yeah, wait! I can't wait for the new uh, the new stamp releases. Oh, I know! I, I like, like that. that. The yeah, Enid. yeah I definitely. The, the Enid Club stamp, and then I uh, definitely prepaid for that. Anybody yeah, throw a charger yeah, I, yet? I uh, no, no, I have not. No, no, I have no. no. That's what I was thinking about going with is probably a, a, a charger, or maybe just two chargers. I'm not sure how. how what are what, what is, is the what is the club disc this year? I just it's I just charger. It's is it a charger? Okay. I believe I could be wrong because I, I just I just uh, paid my club dues. Uh, I believe the you other get day. to pick two discs. Oh, any two, any uh, two, or are they both Zephyr chargers. Ooh, uh, Zephyr. So you get one Zephyr, and then you pick any one. Zephyr, I'm listening. But isn't one a charger? Yeah, yeah so I'll be no. taking a charger then. Charger is that? That's a one of 13. the new. Is that one of the new Innovo yeah. releases? I think it's thirteen five negative one two. Mm-hmm. And this but one, this know. one's gonna have uh, the ED uh, Enid Disc Golf Club uh, stamp well, on it. Yep. Correct. Okay. And I like a Shrike and. It's in between the shrines. Uh, yeah, speak, speaking of uh, new stamps, uh, Fly Farm is going to have uh, all of the Macbeth, uh, was it the six time commemoratives? Oh, yeah. The six claws? Yeah. Yeah, if you yeah. guys can't find those out there, which I'm sure you're not going to uh, be able to. They're going to they're gonna fly off the shelf. So you guys, bet if you're, you're, if you're your listening now, check, check your local Fly Farm store, your mm-hmm. your local ffdiscoff.com. You can get out of town you want to pay that yeah. shipping. Yeah. Yeah, the local boys, Oklahoma City boys. We'll ship they, it to you. And drive drive to Enid. I'll sign it too. I, I make that I make that drive a lot. Oklahoma City to Enid. It's only an hour and a half. It's yeah. Not that bad. It's, oh, he'll ship it to him. Uh, My code one seven seven six one eight. You get that extra extra for you know the the new champ. <laughs> and and, well, and, and does gonna take care of that shipping. And doesn't doesn't Chad throw in uh, a sticker and peppermints with every with my, for every order with yeah. me on a toilet. No no no, 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 no. That that's just, that's the spray for when I'm on there. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah, uh, there's Chad, a flat Chad, farm sticker in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It gives you a, gives you a little little sticker and a little mm-hmm. candy, a little mint. They'll give you a sticker if you just showed up at two o'clock. Just like Sonic, opens. huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get your man over here on a uh, Hype Boulevard. Yeah, and make sure you check out his slap out location too. Yeah. So. Thirteen. 13. Okay. Episode thirty. And the new guys knew that. <laughs> you know what? You, I, you guys, you guys have been talking about about the number two and how it's no good for you. Yeah, China Palace. China Palace. Yeah. No, I actually I went there the other day at China Palace, and cool. and I tried the number two. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Really. <laughs> Number two. What the hell was that? Why we pay for that commercial? Hey, that's China Palace 412 West Main, Slap Out, Oklahoma. Oh man, that was weird. It was, it was, it was delicious. <laughs> wow, but, I'm hungry. But I tell you what, though, have you guys watched the league? The uh-huh. the the fantasy football show. Uh. Uh-uh. They have a, an episode where they talk about Yoba Goya. Yoba Goya. <laughs> I had the Yoba Goyas. Wow. Watch the Putin, the Putin deal. Do you see that? Where yeah. Simon came back and kicked all their <laughs> tails. Oh, oh the, 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 putting, the putting series that they're doing on Jomez? Oh, you got to see that. No, the I one watched any of those. Did you see it? No. Was what that, was that the Simon one? That, and were Ke- they in the uh, the climbing gym for that one? They were or was in that the, the earlier one? Airsoft. Oh, uh, I didn't see that. Arena, one. basically, no, inside of the that warehouse. One. It's pretty cool. Simon and Calvin, like, were 0-0, zero, zero, and everybody else was, like, past 10. They were playing 21. Mm-hmm. Simon came back to win. Dude. Simon does. Simon does Simon things. That's just so, uh, spoiler alert. I guess uh, <laughs> he hasn't seen it, but he, he is he is the the Wonder Kid. Yeah, <laughs> he's really good. And of course, Calvin, he was ready to go home. He's like, I'm ready to eat. He left. Uh, <laughs> I think he left early. They had to drag him back into the. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I'm serious. I have to check yeah. that out. You should check it out. It's pretty cool. Love the owl, though. And thanks for the invite today. Yeah, um, definitely. It's time for questions. Questions. Questions he, from Richard Screech. Read the question. Richard Screech and Slap Out. Yeah, Slap okay, Out. Okay, Slap Out. He's, he's a he's a regular, isn't he? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, all right. Let's see what we got. Richard Screech here. Okay. Um, 
what is what shot do you gain the most distance with a hyzer flip or a turnover? Or a turnover flex shot. Yeah, sorry. That's, For me, it's a flex shot. Is a flex? Yeah. Well, you you throw in forehands. All and you it's have is a flex be an shot. Stable disc. Yeah, stiletto flex shot. Stiletto. Sounds good. If if there was a shampoo that had Mike Anzalone's picture on it, <laughs> the direction would be flex shot. Stiletto. <laughs> that <laughs> wash, wash, rinse, repeat. Uh, no, uh, cool. I'm a I'm a big hyzer flipper. I love hyzer flips. Beat in disc. No, uh, I've had it for ten I years. used I used to carry. At one time, I carried six. Yes, I carried six biofusion escapes wow. from dynamic discs. Wow, six, six of them. Yeah, yeah. and they were and they were all uh, they were all different stages of a uh, uh, beat in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, different stages of wear. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag don't tell street team. Yeah, don't tell the street team. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not a. I was part of the street team in their the early days, but no, I was hiding them I've suckers in the that. pockets. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I was throwing, I was throwing uh, wipe and stamps. DD escapes. Uh, Biofusion was my favorite plastic. Oh, they fly good. Huge, huge hyzer Flip flips. Too. Actually, I think uh, I don't throw them there. I think Fly Farm. They have the uh, was it the S- Supreme escape yep, right mm-hmm. up there. Yeah, yeah. They uh, looks like they got what four or I'm five. Surprised there's any left. I mean, that's, I, I bought one. Yeah. Yeah, nice grandma bathroom blue. He just wiped his <laughs> <laughs> Robin's egg blue. Oh, that's a better name, I guess. Yeah, Robin's mm-hmm. egg blue. Oh, darn, just blue. wiped a stamp and mark D two on the inside of the rim. Nah. Well, yeah, 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 Richard. Uh, I would say, I would say I'm a more of a hyzer flip kind of guy. Mm. So I guess it would depend if you throw, you throw four hands. Yeah, you throw it's kind of hard. Hands. It's kind of hard. I would, I would be. Surprised to so. see somebody throwing four hands and doing nothing but hyzer flips. And I do it with a striker or a sheriff. Oh, you you flip you uh, hyzer flip do. those on in four fact, hands. In fact, the one I threw down nine that aced with the mayhem, I was aiming for the tree. Well, that, that was like right. a that was like and a it straight. flipped up and then came into the basket. Well, I we keep, we keep talking I, about this ace left on my hand nine, was going this way. So that's, any, a, any, that's a flip. Well, yeah. Well, in, anybody that 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 watches this episode and they and they go and they do their they research and they look at hole nine, they're gonna be. It's gonna be a little lackluster because yeah. there's only three trees left. Yeah, on hole they nine. they tore all the the, the magic yeah. of nine is all gone. Yeah, that's the, the worst thing the city could have done. Yeah, getting you. But yeah, you threw it up the gut it, when there was like what? I was aiming at the tree line. On twelve. The right. There was like twelve trees in a straight that. line. Yeah, and you threw it right down the path. So if I'm throwing a striker, sheriff, or a mayhem, Heiser flipping. That's a I good guess. point. They look it up now. It's yeah, if you, if, if you look it up now, it's a it's very, very mm-hmm. and they've still got the trees Man. laying all over the floor. Clean it up, city. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No shout Enid. out for you. <laughs> Enid no Parks and shout Rec. out for the city of Enid. No, we no, we can we can shout them out because they need to hear this. Not this month. <laughs> if you're gonna cut down some trees, please please clean them up. Well, Please. don't cut the ones that evolved well, our yeah. disc golf course. They, uh, they were fine. They would have grown back. No, well, I don't care if they were dead. They would have grown back. <laughs> we we could yeah. we could we could have just lopped, just topped them, and then turned them into like like tiki's or something. Yeah, yeah. Chairs. totem totem poles. There's a lot of Native American history in this area. Well, they used to have tipis out there when I was a kid. They when I was three or four. Them. They had actual teepees out there that uh, kids I, could I mean, play I mean, in. I, I was going to say, I, I meant totem poles. I said tiki torches, but I meant yeah, they totem, just I cut totem them poles. Like, yeah, like just, seven, top, just top them. Clean them up. Get a local oh, artist to come I thought you meant teepees. No, I, I, meant, I meant like totem poles. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Totem poles would have been cool. But that's probably more <laughs> what Alaskan is that totem pole is more the Inuit. Any, yeah. No. So, so sorry, I, I was very uncultured there. I apologize. <laughs> cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll be there all year. I don't. I don't oh, know if they're yeah. Well, this year. when they when they chopped hole eight, it sat there for oh, four like, months, like three four months. Yeah, that was sad too. They waited until after their big event to clean all that mm-hmm. up. And I think they only cleaned it up because the lady probably complained a lot right there on that. <laughs> you know, we, well, we, we might need to go talk to her about that and see see if she has some pull. Let's say that. Let's tell what the people what it used to be. Hole eight used to tee pad, two trees you got to throw. Or you could yeah. go around. Yeah, you, you. It was like I've hit both of those trees yeah. a lot of times. <laughs> Mic- yeah, the microphone is T pad, and you had two trees. 
just framing the pad, and mm. they went and they chopped the one on the left. Yeah. So and the, they chopped some down along. Oh the right yeah, side and, of the and there and there were some ones further down the fairway. There yeah, there, f- there's there was a few. That was uh, that, I think right I think they had I think that hole had like six or seven trees. Just north of the basket, and now there there's three three yeah. good sized trees there that you would have to putt through. Yeah, so there's there's the tree that is uh, past and left of the basket, which kind of saves a lot of people from going OB over that fence. Mm-hmm. There's the tree that's about midway down the fairway, on the right hand side. That saves a lot of people from going OB. <laughs> yeah. And then there's the tree to the right, right off the tee pad, which ruins a lot of really good shots or sends you OB. Mm-hmm. So it's still a, it's still a really challenging hole, but it, uh, yeah, it, was, it, is. it was so much harder Especially before. For me. It was so much harder before. Yeah, they took the magic at 8 and 9. Yeah. Just like that. Gone. Gone. Let's let's guesstimate what magic they'll take out next. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I think it would be horrible, though, if they took out wanna, the tree line on 14. Be the don't, don't you I'll put the evil out. on us, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> 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 they better leave them baskets in. They, oh, I always no. wondered what they did with the ones they took out across some park because I heard oh. there was 18 baskets out there. Oh, they're probably, they're probably the in some storage and on, yeah. on some city property. Yeah, they're probably, they were all rusted over, though, Mike. Dust. Yeah. Oh, I could imagine really there's 18 different yeah. employees that's got – one hanging out in his garage or backyard. <laughs> they kept on running into them <laughs> with their lawnmower too. So they were like beat up, beat up. Hit these bat, this part of the basket was the cage was just falling off. Yeah, you throw a putt in, it still lands on the ground. Oh man, yeah. I'd love for the gold layout to be done. Or I can't wait for that. Any, well, any uh, rich people out there wanting uh, to find uh, from from what I've heard, the uh, the grounds crew at NOC or. is extremely excited yeah. about something to be going on out on that that property. Mm-hmm. They're they're very excited to see what we can do with next week Saturday next week Saturday next yeah. Saturday yeah uh, w- what's what's the date on that let's look it up on the calendar because I think we're gonna make this a thing uh, right those, here for those that are listening and want to come to Enid to test out our new NOC Gold layout uh, it it will be a a limited layout because we we don't have all the baskets available to do a full setup. Which I'm sure we, we might be able to kind of tweak it to, to kind of make it work. But let's see. Today is the 27th. Uh, so February 4th. Saturday, February 4th. All right. If uh, if nobody has anything going on uh, here Sounds in Enid, great. Oklahoma, 73701 zip code. All right. Let's do it. NOC Golds. We will be setting up. And if you guys want to come try it out. Um, what we uh, what was it five dollar donation entry, uh, course fund, uh, just to participate, which I think is pretty fair, mm, yeah. and, and it's going towards a great cause because yeah. a new disco of course we I need, think we, need really we need fair. we need all the Should help we 10. can get. I mean, putting in putting in courses is not cheap. No. I mean, yeah, that's why I think that's way too fair. It should be should be yeah. ten, but it could that's be good. it could be no one. Any any donation. Is a good donation. Is, better than no is donation. accepted. Any donation is no, is better than no donation. To be that's good. true. Socrates. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, also, uh, kind of, uh, I guess, I, I guess you can call it international news. I mean, it's it's in, it's in the nation, but uh, let's hear it. In uh, and I guess uh, Springfield area, Missouri, uh, they are holding a casual tournament. Called the Bacon Mustard Mayo Classic. <gasps> that's an awesome name. It is, isn't what? it? <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah. that's something I would make up. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, fun. Uh, <laughs> uh, fun. Fun story behind that. Uh, it was actually coined by our buddy uh, Stephen Larue. Good job. Which it's it's we call him and it, he goes by Buddy. So it's our buddy, buddy. Hey, buddy. Uh, yeah. yeah. Hey, buddy guy. <laughs> hey, buddy. I'm not your hey, buddy, buddy guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he was a he was a, a bartender at uh, Ruby Tuesdays, and they had a burger called the Bacon Mustard Mayo Burger. I'm getting hungry now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. I'm and hungry. And we, and we, and and we had Chinese this joke dollar. where that was all one condiment. <laughs> Make it mustard mayo, just one uh, condiment. I get it. And then uh, it was such a funny thing that we we actually hosted a tournament, just a casual get together uh, in Joplin, and it was a huge turnout. If I remember correctly, I think we had 40, 50 people show up to just a casual cash round type thing. Wow. And uh, I believe it was a a doubles. Or so I it it was so many years ago I can't remember exactly but it's been a thing where we uh, it actually became a, a 
Springfield, the Springfield crew did a part due. Well, they hosted one. And and since, uh, it, it's actually stayed in Springfield. Uh, but the whole purpose of the Bacon Mustard Mayo Classic was to, was to, for that name to travel. Yeah. So the Bacon Mustard Mayo Classic That's can go cool. anywhere. Well, we, we, yeah, I yeah. want to do the Vets for <laughs> Veterans Tournament. Do you think if we did one of those here in Enid at Best Metal for, Lake? Best for, is that, that's the one where you, DD donates mm-hmm. a basket? Do you think we could get – yeah, I would love to put that at the gold course. Do you think we can get 50 Ooh. people? You have to get at least 50 people to sign oh, up. Oh, I think we can get 50. We drag – Hey, you uh, drag all the Websters out here. I'll drag all my I, family. I get, I get, well, kind of, kind of, kind of sad news. Uh, actually, talking about the Websters, uh, Kyle and Audrey are going to be moving to Pensacola here, Pensacola, oh, Florida, here pretty soon. Cow. Yeah. I guess that's good news. Though. I mean, it's good them. news. For, good news for them. They're, uh, they're, uh, they're taking oh, a. No, somebody's <laughs> crying off camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Who I'm crying it? in my head too. Yeah, they're, they're taking a step in their professional careers, and they're, for they're going out and they're they're trying something new. So congratulations! I wish, I wish the best for them. them. Yeah. yeah. Wow. But uh, yeah, but for uh, for the Joplin crew, OKC crew, Springfield crew, uh, come show up here in Enid. Yeah. Come, come help out. I know some uh, some guys. I couldn't make it that weekend, but some guys did go out and support them. At yeah. The throwback. Yeah. Uh, so uh, player cool. X was there. Yeah. Player uh, X. Uh, Friends of the Forest. Oh, I want to be the pizza. I heard. You oh the yeah. Pizza. Oh yeah. Uh, shout out to uh, JB's downtown. Uh, best good. best pizza in Joplin. What they do with that sauce is magical. Mm-hmm. That's definitely something that would be cool. But yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Joplin, Joplin homies, Springfield homies, OKC homies. Come to Jop. Come come to Enid. We got some things going on here. We could use yeah. some help. Yeah. Heck yeah. That's awesome. We, we can need, use a, we need a high level course. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and, and uh, I heard that uh, Eric McCabe came and looked at our NOC Golds he layout. Did lay it all he out. Did and his only he absolutely loved it. From what I was told, he did absolutely loved it. But he also had his own his own little spin that he wanted to put onto it. Just one thing, though. Just one thing. Yeah, it was just one. Which thing. is a, and I bet you guys could guess it. It's the FPO. No, it's the Eric McCabe signature hole. Eighteen. Yeah, you you oh, always yeah. you always got to have a, a landscaped green, mm-hmm. just yeah. a landscaped green, something that that looks cool, looks good, it's fun to throw at. Well, shout out to Bat Chad if Eric McCabe only wanted one little change yeah, on his yeah. layout. No, that's a great layout. We threw from what would have been considered a female pad, the, the, the short pad. pad. Yeah, yeah, the the female. That's the female pad. The female, yeah, yeah. Oh, here in God. Enid, we are very progressive, and we are actually, yeah, uh, we we uh, installed a few short pins at uh, the northwestern uh, edges and NOC uh, mm-hmm. uh, short course. I'll call it the short course because NOC Golds is going to be so much. But that's longer. tough for the girls, even. I mean, I would imagine yeah. a lot of even the FPOs would be. Shooting off to the side just to lay up. Me and Tank had to play from the through. drop zone, and that was far enough for us. <laughs> you still throw over water, too, you know. and On the peninsula? But no. Yeah, we walked yeah. around. We're like, holy cow. I did. It's, it's very, you yeah, know, you can't all. tell just until you walk around how much water you just threw over from the drop zone. You're like, that's a lot there of water. There were still <laughs> people throwing them in the lake from... Yeah. Arc, yeah. Well, and, well, and for and for the for the listeners and watchers that aren't familiar with what NOC is, NOC is Northern Oklahoma College. Uh, they have a uh, ball golf course that is, I, I see it used every now and then by just some locals, I think, but it, it's it's, it's very vacant and it's a lot of very prime property. Disc golf's taking it over now, baby. And yeah, it's <laughs> over. Yeah. It's over. We're in, here to in, stay. And Emporia kind of set the precedent for that with uh, kind of cohabitating with uh, ball golfers and using the same property. Well, they offered that, but they don't want to do that. So well, they well I, from what I've heard, they're completely doing away with uh, the ball golf. Yeah, they don't want to. They've keep actually up the them they've, guys. Like, they've actually offered their their golf pro shop. To they our, can have to more fun club, like, if if yeah. we are willing to. Uh, put in our own funds and kind of mm-hmm. renovate and get That's that ready cool. to go. So I have a little pizza place in there. Yeah, I, I think those be, guys uh, need to get the PJ membership anyways. They'd have more fun at like MA70 oh, yeah. or MA60. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, there's... Throw some phrase pizza yeah, Absolutely. That would be me eventually. A couple of years. MA60. Oh, yeah. I can't wait for MA40. I'm like dying. I'll be, yeah, I'll be already in the fifties by then. No, that's what that's what I hear everybody says. You know what? I'm I'm good now. Wait until you see me in, in the masters division. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, thanks hungry. guys again for being on the show, the champ, and put.
maybe player X. Yeah, I never see you guys in the same round. Everybody oh, yeah, we should around. do that at the end of the show uh, every time. Yeah. Good yeah. round. Fly farm. Yes, uh, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. I'll see you next time, too, for sure. And you too, champ. Bye. See you soon.